Hi, this is Kevin with Cliffside Lights. I wanted to show you some things that I have learned over the past year about how to use the visualizer in X Lights and also how you can let X Lights do all the hard work in setting up your controller with the string ports and, and also the start channels and all that uh, kind of stuff that's in my mind is time consuming, takes a lot of effort to do. But uh, this visualizer and the other tools built in have made it so easy. First of all, I'd like to thank those in the Zoom room that uh, were patient with me and helped me learn this, as well as those who answered questions on the Facebook X Lights group. All right, well, this is uh, my layout, just to give you an idea what we'll be talking about a little bit. I have a couple of controllers and some differential receivers to do this show, and my show's quite small. You'll see some arches, and I've got some spiral trees here. There's five of them, and on each the top of each tree is a star. I've got snowflakes and a wreath, and you can see the house line, window outlines, as well as some candy canes. So that'll be the basis of the props that I have that we'll talk about. Okay, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a controller set up and that the controller is set up so you can use the visualizer. I'm going to go ahead and add a controller. I use Falcon controllers in my show, so we're going to add a Falcon controller. Uh, we click the Add Ethernet, and then over here we're going to uh, add some, um, fill out some boxes and make sure it's set up correctly. First thing I'm going to do is choose the vendor, and I want to choose Falcon. I'm and then the next thing is the model. I'm using the F16 version 3, so we'll choose that. And I do have one expansion board so I, that I have on that, so that I can, uh, which means I have differential receivers running to a couple of areas. All right, we're going to go up here and give my controller a name. This is something for me. I always like to put the controller name first, and then um, and then uh, kind of describe where it is. This is just for me, and it helps me year to year. And I can give it a description if I would like to. Uh, controller in oh, controller in the yard. All right. And then I want to check these two boxes. Auto layout models. This is going to help. Uh, this is going to let X-Lights know that I want X-Lights to start taking control of some things and uh, do the hard work for me. And it allows me to use the visualizer. And I want full X-Lights control. So once I get things set up, the data that X Lights helps me set up using the visualizer can be pushed to the controller to set it up, and then can also be pushed uh, to Falcon Pie Player if you're using that uh, as your show player. Okay, I want to check all three of those boxes, and then uh, you'll notice down here that Managed comes up and is also checked. Uh, a couple other things that I'll do is what is the IP address of this controller, and so I'll type it in. It'll probably be different for your show. Uh, I hard code my addresses at my controller so I uh, can guarantee that they're always the same thing. So this one's going to be on port uh, w this uh, 100. You can see I have already have another controller set up at 200. And uh, for me, I'm going to set the universe to 2. And because I'm using a wireless controller for my star, uh, a pixel stick, it's actually an art stick, but uh, I'm going to let it be Universe 1. So we'll start this. Well, let's go up a little bit. Let's go to Universe 4 just to be safe. I can't remember how many pixels are on that star. All right. So there is my controller uh, all set up. We've given it a name. We've checked these boxes. We've told what vendor it is, the Falcon, and the model, the F16 version 3. Got an expansion board. Got my IP address set. It is the protocol is E131 that I'm using, and uh, this is checked, and we've set a start universe here. Okay, All right, so that's the basic first part of that. I'm going to come up here and click Save, and you're going to see me save a couple of times. Uh, once we start uh, using the visualizer, we're also going to go over to Layout and hit Save when we do that. All right, now that my controller's set up, I can use the visualizer. So I'm going to click here, and um, it's going to tell me that it could not calculate start channels for these models. That's okay. All right, let's look at the visualizer here and what it does. Over here, you're going to see all my ports. See this red line? That's going to come down to 16, which is the number of ports that are on the 
Falcon uh, version F16 version 3. It's a 16 port controller. These blue line, green line, and purple line are grouped into four. Then after that, after we hit port 16, I'm into my expansion board and my differential receivers. So that's going to be 17, and I can have four differential receivers on that uh, on this right here. And so you can see we're going to go all the way down to port 32, and then serial ports, but I'm not using any of those. All right, so this is what we do. Over here we have our props. Over here we have the the ports on our controller. This represents the physical port one on the controller, physical port two, where I'm going to actually plug in my strings, my pixel strings that are my props, okay? All right, you remember I had an arch, right? Well, let's assign arch one to pixel port one. So I just drag it from the right over to the left, and let's put arch two on port two. I've got five candy canes, but I'm going to daisy chain them together. So let's do three of them together on one port. I just drag and drop. And if I messed up the order, I can move it around. Or if I put it on the wrong port, I can move it around. Cane four, candy cane five. So what I've just told uh, X Lights is, using the visualizer, is that candy cane one is connected to directly to port three. So the wire from Candy Cane 1 connects to physical port 3 on my Falcon controller. Uh, cane, Candy Cane 2 is connected to the end of Candy Cane 1. So those pixel strings, right, they have a uh, connector on one end and the connector on the end. I'm going to connect these together. So three of them are connected in series all in a row. You also notice that... Uh, uh, that uh, X Lights has already it knows that there's 60 pixels in each of my arches and there's 99 pixels in each of my candy canes here. Okay, so I'm going to not do any more um, any more uh, props and drag and drop because you get the idea of how this works. Notice down here I've got the box size. I can make it bigger. Uh, the box is bigger, and then I can also make the font size uh, larger. Now let me show you something that may not be uh, intuitive to you, and uh, I didn't know about it until somebody uh, told me about it in the uh, form or in the uh, Facebook group. I can right-click here in the visualizer and look what I have, print. So now that I've mapped all my props, I'm ready to go out in the yard and start hooking them up right to the controller. Well, I can print this map which is now going to be my guide to how I'm going to wire up everything to my controller. This is really, really cool. You might have to tweak the box size and font size to get it to fit on the piece of paper you want it uh, to fit on. But th this came in very handy this year and saved me a lot of work. Okay. All right, now that we've done that, uh, oh, let me show you another thing. Brightness. You'll hear people talk about they run their props at 20% or 30% or 50%, 60%. Well, you can set that right here. Let's say these candy canes, right? Oh, noticed how it swapped around when I clicked on it. Um, let me get it back here. This happens. I don't know if it's a glitch or just working as designed. I can right click on this candy cane and see where it says set brightness. So I can go ahead and set the brightness down to like 40% if I would like. Uh, and then I can do that same here. Okay, so I can set the brightness on my candy canes. All right. And um, I just hit that and it swapped again. Anyway, so you can set your brightness right here on your props. And uh, that makes it really easy to get everything set up. If you noticed... You see these ABCs. These are for when you have daisy-chained uh, smart differential receivers. You know, the ones that have the two uh, ports on them, the RJ45s from, uh, from Falcon. This is how you set those up. And I'm not going to cover that in, video, in this video. We'll do that in a separate video. Okay, so now that I've got everything set up here the way I want it, I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to hit Save here on the Controllers tab. I'm going to go to Layout. 
and I'm going to notice there's a red box here saying I need to save. I'm going to click Save. All right, let's go back to the Controllers tab and notice now, well, notice that I have an upload input and an upload output. So in this yard controller, I can click the upload input and then upload output. And this is going to go ahead and take that port data, how many pixels are on a port, what props, and the brightness and everything, and is going to send that to my controller, whichever one I have highlighted here. Now, first thing you need to remember to do is make sure your computer is connected to your show network. My show network is a separate uh, Ethernet and wireless network than my home network. So I just need to make sure that on my computer I choose that show network so that I'm on the same network as my controller. Then I can hit Upload Input, Upload Output, and it will send that controller configuration data that it the controller needs to my Falcon controller. You can also then uh, send the, the same configuration data to your uh, Falcon Pi player, and that's under the Tools menu in x -Lights. I hope that was helpful. Again, I'd like to thank those in the Zoom room, the experts there that helped me learn this, as well as the uh, people on the uh, Facebook group that answered questions. And I can tell you this has really helped me save a lot of time and confusion in trying to configure uh, my show and my controllers and my Falcon Pie player. It just works and it's slick.